top Squarespace tips and tricks for 2023 for a professional website. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and incredible day. I bring you back with yet another Squarespace video and in this video we're going to be discussing all the different tips and tricks that you can use on Squarespace to basically just make your website look more professional and make life much easier for you. So the first tip that comes with everything is that you can customize your favicon. Now, if you don't know what a favicon is, a favicon is basically your, uh, you could say this picture or a logo that you can see or like a whole design in the top left, which shows maybe your logo or something like that. And it's totally customizable when it comes to Squarespace. Like when you're creating a website, as you can see in the top left of these templates, there are different favicons and they are totally customizable. So that's a pretty great feature to work with. And in every website, as you can see in the top left or maybe in the top, you can see a favicon. And as you can see, it's a template. So it's totally customizable and it's great to work with. The second tip is that you can keep the colors that you use on your Squarespace extremely limited. And by keeping the colors limited, what I mean is, let's say you have these templates, okay? You're working with these templates and they have a color scheme. You can keep those limited. They're like, it's not necessary that you need to go all color out and stuff like that. You can keep them extremely limited if you want to. Tip number three is use hero images. Now. Using hero images, you're probably wondering what that means, is you're going to use images that is going to basically give the client an assurance that, okay, this is the real deal. What the hero images means is like, okay, let's say if you have a yoga page, it could be like, you know, a person looking very peaceful while doing yoga and like the sunset and stuff like that. Or if it's a gym uh, page, you could like uh, post a photo in which a person is like, you know, big muscles and he's like pulling a bicep curl and something like that. You know, those are hero images, something that really attracts the audience. Tip number four is use easy to read fonts. Like, trust me, you don't want to use those fonts that no one can read. Now, as you can see, these fonts over here or these fonts over here, do always remember to use fonts like these, which are pretty easy to read and make sure their color blends in with the background. Don't like use color schemes that make it difficult for the audience to read. Like, you know, a bright yellow on, you know, some light color, like a bright yellow on a light blue. That's just difficult to read. So... Just make sure that the color schemes are good and the font is pretty easy to read. Now, tip number five is to add social proof to the important pages. So let's say, you know what, I'm going to show you by using a template, okay? So let's say you have this website, okay? Now, you need to add some social proof to important pages. Like, look at here, I have uh, this person has giving Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and this is basic social proof. It's social proof that, okay, this user actually exists. And uh, yeah, like basically it's pretty good ways to give proof to your audience and become more comfortable with them or become more cozier to them. So uh, like basically add quotes from customers, logo cascade ratings and stars, and also add your main Instagram handle if you want to, pretty basic stuff. Tip number eight is use free icons, okay? Now you're probably wondering how to use free icons. Icons are pretty easy to get by and like the website you want to use is icons eight. You can get free icons from here and uh, like, just choose any icon if you want to. Like mostly you can get icons like these, this Instagram icon off of Squarespace. But let's say you can't find the correct one. All you're gonna do is you're gonna write Instagram over here in icons eight. And look at that, you get all these great little vector images. So it's pretty basic and pretty nice stuff. And you can just download these and add these to your website templates. Tip number eight also comes with the icons eight website. And tip number eight, is free illustrations and illustrations can be obviously chosen by the vector creator. Now, obviously the vector creator, as it says, creates different images or vector images for you. And you can create those vector images in the easiest way possible. And then obviously you can implement those and use those in your website. Pretty basic and easy stuff. 
Tip number eight is use free stock photos. Like as you can see in the background over here, you see this really high quality plan picture. How did this person get it? Now, either this person took it themselves or they used a free stock photo off of pexels.com or unsplash.com. Now, I myself prefer pexels.com because I just find the pictures more high quality and they're totally free, pretty great stuff. But you can use like any of them if you want to. Pretty nice, pretty basic stuff. So yeah, uh, once you have obviously used the free images, now what you can do is uh, tip move on to tip number nine, which is free stock footage. And again, free stock footage can be found off of pexels.com. Like uh, Unsplash is only known for images, but Pexel is known for videos as well. Tip number 10 is you can also use spacers to give your design breathing room. Now, you're probably wondering what spacers are. Spacers are basically, you know, all these spacings between this text and this text. Like, you know, you give space. And obviously, you can see the shop now button. You can see there's space between that and those upper texts. And as you can see, there's space between all these designs. So these are basic spacers that you use to, as they say, give your design some breathing room. Then there's the single call to action. Basically, just click anything, click any feature, and you will be called to action. Tip number 12 is you can simplify your navigation by just, as you can see, put navigation bars up here. So just like, let's say you want to go on the contact page, just click on contact. There you go. You're on the contact page. You want to go on the shop page, click on the shop. There you go. So easy navigation, pretty basic. And uh, yeah, tip number 13 is to include something free in your navigation. So basically, uh, add a free chart to like give your audience a more warm look. Their audience will be more attracted to your work, will be more attracted to what your site provides. And yeah, just it's a great feature to work around with. Then obviously tip number 14 is customize your 404 page. 404 is obviously your error page and uh, make sure to customize that if you want to. Because uh, like, let's say it's a basic 404 page. No one's going to like that. Like customize it, make it more friendly, more nicer. And uh, yeah, just make it look something much more warm and attractive to um, basically give your audience a look that, okay, this person is a pretty good person to work with. Then uh, obviously there's going to be your private pages that you have to make sure you're going to password protect because obviously there's a lot of scammers out there that love to hack into your website. So just make sure to have password protected pages and much more. Include user goals in your headlines as well, which is the 16 tip. Basically, in your headlines, let's uh, go into the main page. Like over here in your headlines, you're going to include your user goals. And uh, yeah, pretty basic stuff. Tip number 17 is pick a keyword. Keywords are basically your SEO tools uh, that you're going to use. Like, let's say uh, plants and pots. Okay, if someone looks for plants and pots, they're going to be redirected to your page. So those are basic keywords and stuff like that. And yeah, like there's much, much more tips, but uh, these are the basic ones. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please drop down a like, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please let me know down in the comments below. But until then, I hope you all keep having a great and amazing day. That was all from me and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.